Okay, well, today's project are fire pits. I got a couple of junks of pipeline pipe. They're 36 inch diameter, half inch wall thickness. This one's got a neat end bell on it. So that'll make a fire pit. That'll make probably three fire rings, I think. That piece of pipe. And this one over here, I've started on already. is a little less than two feet, uh, um, anyways, it was cut out on taper, and it was a little less than two feet, so I could get two 12-inch rings out of it, approximately. So I marked it all out, and I've started cutting. And so these just came from a scrap yard, but I live in an area that has uh, oil and gas pipelines, so that's what that is. That's half inch wall thickness and really, really, really super heavy. And I'll show you a little later how it turns out. So I guess maybe I better show you how to uh, get a straight line on a piece of pipe. So you take your crazy carpet, you line it up on your line, you take a piece of soapstone, and you draw your line. Nice straight line. Now I guess I better also show you. Um, my oxyacetylene setup and what kind of pressures you use. This is half inch wall pipe. Um, I own these two little bottles. It turns out that I don't use it very often so it's a little cheaper if you own the bottles to uh, just do it that way as opposed to having a contract per year rental. Anyway, so your uh, acetylene should be set at around five pounds. Now you'll notice that the small dial is a little bit above five pounds, but when you're actually flowing the acetylene, it's a little lower. It's, it's around five pounds. And same thing with the oxygen, except it should be around 35 pounds. And so the lower dial there is a little above 35 pounds. It just turns out that when you flow the oxygen, it, turn, it comes back down to 35. Anyway, so those pressures work pretty good. So that's my and... torch. Personally, I like to have the, uh, the knobs on the lower side, so if you're cutting in that direction, I like to have the lower knobs pointing downwards, oxygen on the left. And personally, I turn this valve, um, open this valve completely, the lower oxygen valve, and I control my oxygen flow with this upper knob. I don't know if you can see that or not. Yeah, that's a little better. It's important to have nice clean tips too. That's the tip in front of the, on the cutter. Okay. Alright, well I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, so I turn the, uh, the acetylene, that's the red one, turn that on a little tiny bit, spark it. Notice it fumes a lot. I turn my oxygen up. Oh, I'm going to send a little bit because there's some dirt. Anyways, I want a little bit of feather on the end of my uh, oxygen tip. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. And so this. And you turn the tip up, it cuts nice. Okay. Well, there you have it. I got two fire rings, about 11 and 3 quarters, maybe 12 inches uh, deep each, half inch wall. There's the waste. And I took my grinder and I ground out the edges a little bit so they're a little smoother. Anyways, there they are.